Hey guys, this is the DMX Show, and I'm your host Shane. Today I wanted to show you guys a really cool application called Ginger Break. Uh, this is the first one-click rooting application for gingerbread, and uh, I have tested it on my Droid X running uh, gingerbread. And I just wanted to show you guys how it works. It's really easy. It's almost similar to Z4 root, but not quite the same. Um, but it's really simple, and this won't take long, guys. So, uh, what you're going to need to get to do is go down to the link in the description, download the APK, install it to your phone, and when it's installed, you just pull it up. It's called Ginger Break, and go ahead and click that. It'll open up. It says, please make sure of the following before rooting. You have an SD card inserted and mounted. Uh, USB debugging is enabled. Okay, so this works for just about any device. Uh, so you're going to need to make sure that you do have an SD card inserted. I know on the forums I ran across some guys that were having trouble with their uh, gingerbread tablets not being able to install it. They had to put an SD card in. Uh, so just make sure you do have that SD card inserted and mounted and USB debugging is on and all you have to do here is click root device and it's going to run that exploit. Uh, it could take a few minutes some people said it took you know up to 10 minutes and for me when I tried it earlier it took literally like about a minute and a half so just let that run and as soon as it's finished it's going to reboot your phone automatically and that's uh, when you know that you have a rooted gingerbread device this should work on any gingerbread uh, any android device running gingerbread now the initial boot up for me last time it took about uh... you know three and a half minutes so don't get worried if it takes a while. Just give it a few minutes and it'll boot up. As soon as it boots up, you can go over and find the Super User APK. It installs it automatically. So if it stays at this screen for you know more than 10 or 15 minutes, uh, then you do have a problem, and you'll have to redo it. And one thing to keep in mind about this application is that it's brand new, and they're still working out the bugs. Uh, they've already come out with an updated version. Make sure that whenever you go to that link that you do download version 1.10. That is the newest version. Uh, and check back for more current versions. I'll post them as soon as they're available. But as soon as that loads and you have your super user APK, uh, that will allow you to go in there and block ads and you can I use wireless tether and uh, you can run root explorer which is a, an application that I have to have uh, there's several applications that you must have root to use like titanium backup that allows you to back up all of your uh, data your system data and also your applications and your application data especially if you flash ROMs like I do uh, you're definitely going to want to use something like Titanium Backup that does require root access. Uh, if you want to flash a ROM, period, you'll have to have root access. That's what this allows you to have on your gingerbread device. And it's real simple. You don't have to go into ADB and install it manually. You just click it. Like I said, it seems to take forever on this initial boot up. In fact, you can fast forward through this if you would like. I just want to show you exactly how long it takes so that way you don't freak out when it takes this long it's 
it's probably a good time guys to tell you uh, for all of your mods for the Droid X. If you have a Droid X, you'll want to visit droidmoderx.wordpress.com. And I've got lots of video tutorials posted along with all the different ROMs, and there's even some really neat applications that are listed there for you. And like I said, it takes a long time to boot up. I think we're going on like two and a half minutes now. You know, as long as it does not boot loop, so you saw where Droid flashed up there, if it goes back to Droid, then you're boot looping and you'll have to SBF your phone or your device. Or either you can go into stock recovery and factory reset, wipe data factory reset. A lot of times that'll fix a boot loop. But here we haven't boot looped, it's just taking forever to load. Of course whenever you fill it rumble, then you know you're there. My advice would be to just stick the phone on a table somewhere and wait. And there it is. So we'll give it a few seconds to recognize the SD card. And... So we'll go ahead and open up the app drawer. And scroll on over to your S's. Just in case you're wondering, I'm on stock gingerbread. No ROM here, that's why it's taking forever to load, because it has to load all this bloatware. That's another good thing that titanium backup is good for, is you can remove your bloatware. And there it is, Super User APK. Now it's there at the bottom. Okay, you see Droid X Bootstrapper has been granted Super User permission. So you see it's already working. Um, we could even go into like Ad Blocker or Ad Free here. Okay, see so Super User Request. So uh, you're now rooted and. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Like I said, head on over to droidmoderx.wordpress.com for even more tutorials. Uh, thanks guys.